my brothers and sisters doing a good deed in the month of Ramadan in the condition of fasting is definitely rewarded differently by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as compared to the same deed done outside the month of Ramadan not in the condition of fasting similarly when it comes to the supplications in the evenings in the month of Ramadan the nights being the most powerful nights of the entire year as per our belief as Muslims we need to realize Allah chooses us for ibadah and acts of worship during those nights may Allah Almighty bless us we know and I'm sure we would know that Laylatul Qadr is not necessarily one of the odd nights but more likely to be one of the odd nights according to narrations but not necessarily so we need to work hard all of those nights I want to address you as mostly as volunteers who will be volunteering or who are volunteering for the event that is happening today my beloved brothers and sisters the first thing you need is purification of intention there is no doubt we are doing this for the sake of Allah just this morning someone asked me a question about myself that why do you do this and why not I said why do you think I do it why do you think we do it do you really think that we are serving any other cause besides that of Allah if we are and the intention is contaminated this is the moment to rectify it and purify it may Allah Almighty never make us just want to do things for people or for show nowadays with social media it becomes very tricky with a person's intention because people love to show remember if you are going to show something do it in order to encourage others not to show off there's a difference and fine tune between the two in order not to lose the reward of such a great act of worship what is the act of worship well this act of worship is encouraging people to become better Muslims to repent to Allah to turn to Allah to take the relationship with Allah more seriously and we want to facilitate and help people coming in and going out we want to help them be seated we want to help them open their fast we want to help them when it comes to the prayer that is going to happen and inshallah they leave from here empowered and we were a tooth in the cog that was part of the entire machine had it been missing perhaps the machine would have been affected if any one of us does not do our job correctly definitely the machine will be affected because one tooth missing in a cog you know what's going to happen may Allah help us to do the work correctly and properly for his sake I mean I want to mention that if Allah has guided a single person through you or if you were part of the entire mechanism through which one person was guided you get a reward better than Humri Naam which means the red camel the at the time the most expensive the most valuable of the conveyance and the mode of transport today it's probably in its millions may Allah Almighty grant us a reward bigger than that I mean Allah's used you to guide one person somewhere in the equation you were there the beauty of Islam you get a full reward not just a reward which is a, a portion of it you are a 20% shareholder 2% no 100% we all get may Allah use us and continue to use us similarly when you are helping someone in Ramadan it will be different from helping someone outside of Ramadan indeed aren't you fasting aren't you in the month of Ramadan in the last 10 are you not it at a time where you could have been anywhere else but here you are Allah brought you here and like I said we purify intentions and at the same time if you are used in the month of Ramadan you will be rewarded 10 times 70 times 700 times and beyond 700 as per the discretion of your maker based on your intention and the situation and condition you are in so it's amazing greet people with respect as you know they will be coming in people from different backgrounds people who perhaps you don't even know the issues they are going through offer them a smile offer them a good greeting some might 
have just gone through difficulty. They might be difficult in the sense that they are stubborn on something. No problem. You continue to keep your cool and continue to offer them the respect right up to the end, come what may. And Allah will bless you. Allah will bless you, your future, your spouse, your children, your families, and Allah will grant you goodness in your entire system by His will. This is the fadl of Allah. Bear in mind that in this particular night, there is a great possibility it would be Laylatul Qadr. So as you are working, constantly ask Allah, Allahumma inna ka afuun tuhibbul afwa fa'afu anni. Oh Allah, forgive me. As you are working, and as you're working, make your dua, whatever other supplication you want, there is a greater likelihood, whatever you want, Allah will open your doors, repeat the dua. Allah loves repetition. Man does not like repeating. When you repeat the same thing to a person more than a few times, he will get agitated with Allah. It's the opposite. He gets happier when you repeat things. So this is a very, very blessed occasion. Many of you might be returning in two days time to assist again. Congratulations. It's Allah. And remember when everyone is done and they're about to leave, volunteers leave right at the end usually. That's the reason why they have such a great reward. The most difficult part of everything is when everyone leaves, you got to pack up. That's more difficult than laying things out. Because when you're laying things out, you're still energetic and excited. And once the excitement and everything has come to an end, then you know it's not so easy. May Allah Almighty bless us. I want to remind you, Man qama Ramadana imanan wa ihtisaban ghufira lahu ma taqaddama min dhambih. The hadith says, whoever stands in the month of Ramadan in prayer in the evenings, and another narration speaks about the fasting in the month of Ramadan, whoever fasts with conviction, hoping for a reward from Allah, Allah literally wipes out all the previous sins. But there is another narration, exactly the same reward for having stood only Laylatul Qadr. Man qama Laylatul Qadri, imanan wa ihtisaban. Whoever stands in worship on Laylatul Qadr, the night of decree, with iman, conviction, faith, yaqeen, hoping for a reward, expecting goodness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, all their previous sins will be wiped out. Subhanallah. What I want to say, on a night like this, understand its value and greatness. The first thing, we don't sin. We don't sin. Even if we have not engaged in many acts of worship, sin is heading in the right direction, in the wrong direction, reverse. And if you want to head in the right direction, you start off at a certain point. If you haven't done anything, at least you did not go in reverse. And then inshallah, you take it in your stride, do as much as you can, a little bit of Quran and so on as you have a few moments and even later. May Allah make it easy. Then I want to speak about one last thing. My brothers, my sisters, this is an opportunity to change our lives. I know from amongst you, just like I said, there are so many people who are going to come this evening. Each one has a different issue and different circumstances perhaps that you may never know. So go easy on them. Just like I said that about those who are going to come from amongst us, everyone has the same. The same in the sense that we have issues and our own unique circumstances. I ask Allah to make it easy for every one of you. Whatever it is that is bothering you, the difficulties you are going through, the hardship, whatever it may be, may Allah make it easy for you. And may Allah bless you abundantly. Remember, this is the time. We want to get closer to Allah. May Allah make us closer to Him. May Allah help us change our lives. Certain things we need to get done, certain habits we need to quit, certain things we need to adopt. This is the moment and this is the time. We don't wait for another time because that other time may not even come. May Allah Almighty grant us all goodness. Barakallahu li wa lakum fil Qur'ani wa sunnati wa nafa'ani wa iyaakum bima fihima min al-ayati wal hikmati aqulu qawli hadha wa astaghfirullah li wa lakum wa lisairi al-muslimina fa astaghfiruhu innahu jawadun kareem.